Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the activation lock from an Apple Watch and then also erase it and remove all your data from it and remove any iPhone syncing relationship. So if you want to go ahead and sell an Apple Watch or give it to another person, then you need to make sure that we go through these steps. We need to unpair it from a smartphone, we need to remove it from the activation lock and we need to go ahead and erase it so that's ready for the next person to use. And an important step for this is to remove the activation lock. So that's the very first thing that we to do in order for someone who is not using our iCloud account in order to pair their phone and their Apple account instead of our own. So we have an existing pairing relationship between this Apple Watch and my iPhone. So we need to go ahead and open our iPhone first. So the first thing we're going to do is to open up the watch app. So on our phone, we're going to scroll down and then type in the word watch and then open up the watch app. And then what we need to do is to tap on all watches. So this shows all of the watches that are paired with our iPhone at the moment. And then basically what we need to do next is to select our watch that we want to remove from the activation lock and then press the I button next to it. So to do that. And then this is our Apple Watch here. So this is the Series 8 Apple Watch. And if the watch has this button here which says find my Apple Watch. That means that it's been activated on your iCloud account. So if I tap on that, that will take you to the find my app and everything there is locked to my account. And if the next person uses this watch, then they're going to need to enter my Apple ID details. Obviously that's not ideal. So what I want to do here is tap the button unpair Apple Watch right here. And then we're going to unpair this Apple Watch. So now what we need to do is to enter our Apple ID password. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we've just entered the password and it's currently unpairing. So this is unpairing from this. This might take a little bit of time, just wait for that to finish. So now that that's done, we're just remaining with the single Apple Watch, the other one that I'm wearing on my wrist now. So that's all done now. So if I look at the actual Apple Watch that we're trying to reset, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Just turning that on now, just to show you what's going on. This is now resetting. So go ahead and put this phone next to the watch just to show you what it would be like if you're trying to set this up for yourself or for someone else. And this is saying here, we can set it up for myself or for a family member. And we can go ahead and pair this on our phone as if we're a new user. If we didn't actually do this properly, then there would be a different message here saying that we needed to remove this watch from the activation lock on our iCloud account. But since we removed the iCloud account correctly, then we don't have that error message anymore. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.